So today I'm going to talk a little bit about these uh, ASICs uh, Gel Nimbus Light 2s and uh, uh, use them over the weekend and uh, a couple days into this new week work week. So I uh, tested them out about five times, uh, a total of uh, about 55 miles. So I'll give you a report on that. And then I also got a new, another pair of shoes that came in just today. Let's see, they're one of three options so let's take a look to see exactly what came in today and i'll give a review of these uh oh these are the nova blasts so let me start wearing these day after tomorrow i typically like to break in my shoes one day inside the house but uh since i'm uh, working at the office this week what I'll probably do is I'll break them in at the office for a day before taking them on some runs. But uh, here are the Nova Blast. So this is the Nova Blast with the blast foam. And so there they are. I will go ahead and get them started, break them in tomorrow at the office, and then start running in them for about a week, and then give you a report on uh, how they work. Uh, if they're any good in terms of similar to the Nimbus Light 2s that I'm going to give you a review today, or listening to any of the reviews that everybody's been uh, talking about on these shoes um, on the Nova Blast, um, I think you'll be uh, they'll be good to go. So, on these uh, Asics uh, uh, Gel Nimbus Light Twos, um, they're a neutral shoe, and uh, I went ahead and did a kind of a twist test, and uh, they do twist a little bit, but not too much. It's not like a um, uh, some of these uh, really foamy shoes where you can just twist the heck out of them and it has no structure or no support. There is no carbon plate on this shoe, but uh, you can do a twist test on it and it um, and it does twist a little bit. So it's just right in the middle. I think it's just perfectly fine. Now, uh, there's an 8 millimeter drop from heel to toe and a 25 millimeter in the heel and 17 millimeter in the forefoot. Now I wear a size nine, and so in my size nine, it's about a nine and a half ounce shoe. Uh, there's a mesh, uh, mesh upper made up of about 80% recycled material. So on this portion here, uh, about 80% of it is recycled material, which is uh, pretty awesome to hear, right? For anybody who runs or is environmentally conscious, um, uh, I'm not sure exactly how they're able to do it, but uh, that is just great news. And then the heel counter is supposedly less rigid than this previous model. Uh, I did not buy the previous uh, Light 1 model, so I don't know, but that's been what I've been told. And I do like the plush inside collar and the tongue. So take a look at this tongue here. Uh, it's pretty soft and squishy, right? Uh, and then even in the heel too, take a look at uh, the heel here, the collar, and the tongue itself. That is pretty cushiony, and I was pleasantly surprised. I was very happy with uh, the cushioning. Now, most shoes I s put in the standard category where it's not super plush, but it's not super thin. It's just okay, right? But uh, I love it whenever they give me a shoe that has just a little bit extra plush cushioning. Uh, it's not a bad thing, okay? And then um, the midsole uses a flight foam. And uh, let me see if I can bring that in here. Okay, there it is. So uh, it says flight foam. Sorry about the uh, the color coming in here. Um, I did wear these shoes for over 55 miles. They've gotten a little bit dirty. And I could have wiped them down before showing you the video. But, you know, I'm not trying to impress anybody. So i uh, just tell you the way it is and how it reacts. But uh, the midsole uses the flight foam, feels great, and has a great, nice uh, roll feel. Uh, it's not overly squishy where it's the squishiest shoe in the marketplace. Uh, 
Uh, and it isn't a shoe where you run on it, whether it's on short or mid runs or even a long run where you think, wow, this is too mushy and has no response. And then on the flip side of that, um, it isn't so rigid where after a long run you feel like, ooh, I need a recovery day or I need a day off. Uh, so it's really right. Um, I have to say that this shoe just kind of fits and checks all the boxes. I mean, it's a shoe that I can see myself using on a daily basis for a variety of different runs. If I want a kind of the middle of the road shoe that fits all the boxes and checks all the boxes, this is it. And then uh, the run itself, the energy return was good, had uh, some bounce to it, and uh, it wasn't overly bouncy. But it also wasn't overly uh, structured in, in a way where it uh, felt like um, my foot was right on the pavement. Uh, but not as severe in terms of the bounce as like the Nike uh, Zoom X. Um, I am going to do a review on the uh, Nike Zoom X Invisible, in, Invincible Run. Um, and then also I'll do the um, review on these Nova Blast that the S came in. Both of those two show, shoes are supposed to be known for being a little bit more bouncy and squishier. And so uh, I will give you a review of how they both work and in relation to this uh, Nimbus, Nimbus Lite 2. Uh, but I think overall in terms of uh, hitting all the boxes and checking all the boxes in terms of being able to do a variety of different things. And if you're not, um, you know, a person who wants to own, you know, half a dozen or a dozen pair of shoes. I mean, I own, you know, two dozen pair of running shoes. And so I have enough shoes to kind of fit all the boxes that I need to have checked. And so if I want to go ahead and have a shoe for one specific purpose, I can do that. But it's also, it's totally understandable and justifiable where I understand people don't want to spend a lot of money to um, get the shoe they want and be able to fit, you know, be able to uh, have to buy a variety of shoes to be able to fit different needs that they would prefer to just buy one or two shoes that will kind of uh, encompass all the things that they need to have uh, uh, to, in their boxes that they want to check. And I think the uh, Asics Gel, Gel Nimbus Lite 2 kind of fits that kind of mold of a shoe where it really does a little bit of everything and it does it pretty well. Um, and so I re highly recommend this shoe. Now the outsole is great, great tread and grip to the road. Never had an issue with stability even when I picked up the pace or quick turns and angles. So let me tell you a little bit about uh, where I'm running with these shoes. So when I leave the, uh, when I leave the house in the morning, if I have to work at the office on the campus, um, my office is carpeted so it's not a big deal ex uh, of having extra support. But uh, maybe uh, anywhere from one to three times throughout the day, somebody will come by and these are casual runners. They'll come by and ask me, hey, do you want to go for a quick walk or a quick jog, a uh, slow jog around the, around the uh, sidewalk area? And the campus itself is pretty oval, not very sharp turns, very level and flat. Uh, you're not taking any angles or turns. You're not going up some uh, uh, elevated areas. You're not going through grassy areas and, and parks and trails. It's pretty flat, smooth, low grade. There's nothing insta no, there's no instable portions of that run. And so it's a pretty standard, uh, quick, uh, walk through, uh, the trail area or a uh, slow, uh, jog around and we take a couple laps around the campus. And I'll tell you, uh, these shoes grip really well. Um, I did take them uh, one of the days to a uh, kind of a soccer field where I was kind of walking and running uh, through the grassy area and some elevated and inclined areas, and it handled perfectly fine. And then I went along a boardwalk area where there was planks of wood, and um, I did take a couple sharp turns to get out of people's ways and I had no problems with grip. And uh, a couple of those mornings that I did go for those runs, um, they had watered kind of the grass area and uh, some of the pavement and the sidewalk area was a little bit wet and had no problems whatsoever with the grip. As you can see, a uh, really great, uh, great looking grip section here and the outer soles, uh, they revamped them from the original version and I think they're even better uh, than they were. So uh, I think they did a really good job in terms of the outer soles. Uh, in terms of the toe box area, uh, it was adequate. 
It's not as roomy as, let's say, the Hoka Clifton's, but nothing really is as boxy as that. And although for myself, I like that extra room in the Hoka Clifton's, I think majority of the people are kind of in that mode where they say it's a little bit, maybe just slightly too roomy. For me, I think the Hoka Clifton's are just fine for me. I like them a little bit extra roomy, but I had no problems with um, the toe box in this um, uh uh, uh, Asics uh, Nimbus Light 2s. I thought they were just more than adequate and nothing felt like it was too tight. And uh, maybe for majority of those people out there, they don't like it that uh, roomy like the Hoka Clifton. So I think this shoe fits the mold for majority of the people out there. Um, I think of this shoe as a ideal daily trainer. And why do I think so? It's because um, people don't like overly mushy shoes or unstable shoes, which could possibly be like the Nike Zoom X or Invis uh, Nike Zoom X Invisible Runs or the Hoka Clifton's or the Nova Blast. I think people want a shoe that isn't far extremely on that category or on the other side, of which are more performance competing type shoes where you're looking for more of a stable shoe with even, um, you know, a, um, I guess uh, you would call it a carbon plate on there. And so if you don't want to be on either far end of the spectrums, I think uh, this shoe kind of fits the mold. It's squishy enough that it uh, gives you a pleasant run or a walk, but also has enough stability where you don't feel like you might kind of trip or kind of tweak your ankles a little bit and I know uh, some of my friends who've already used the uh, Nike uh, Zoom X Invisible Runs and the Nova Blast they just say it's too squishy for them they, they feel like they're going to trip or they're going to go ahead and twist their ankles and so I think uh, this shoe really is the the quintessential shoe that fits and checks all the boxes in terms of having enough squishiness and 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 a soft run or walk, but still gives it enough stability. And it's a very comfortable shoe, and it's a very stable shoe. Um, the only problem I think for a lot of people may be the price point. Uh, this shoe is actually more expensive than the Nova Blast, and it starts off at $150, so with tax, you're talking like $165, and that might price people out. I think that's a little bit getting up there, and so I think that... Um, at that price, I think some people may say, hey, that's just a little too expensive for a daily trainer. Um, I really enjoy the soft plush inside and heel and tongue. Uh, um, I'm not getting too often in my other shoes blisters or hot spots, and I didn't feel any here in these Asics. Um, after using them over five times, uh, I never felt like there was any hot areas. And I definitely did not have any areas that were sore or blistering. Um, and um, like that, whether it was an easy day, average day, hard day, a fast tempo day, the responsible, responsiveness of the shoe was amazing. And in terms of the foot strike, uh, it was a great grip and traction. And um, for, for myself, I kind of do more of a rolling and so within the rolling and the and the uh, the heel area and the midsole having enough of that um, of that uh, foam uh, flight foam, I thought that it was really good in terms of cushioning and support. And I believe that uh, this shoe is a great all-around shoe, and so it's it's highly recommended. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and try the uh, Nova Blast here uh, starting tomorrow. I'll, I'll kind of break them in starting tomorrow and then maybe go on my first run in a couple days. And uh, I use them for about five to seven straight days, try to get in about 50 miles and then give you a report on that. But uh, this uh, report here is uh, all about the Nimbus Light 2 and by Asics. And uh, I definitely highly recommend uh, this shoe as an all-purpose shoe. I think it checks all the boxes. And uh, I will be using this shoe quite often throughout this year.